Hello everybody, I'm Nina and welcome to Tuesdays with Nina. Um, and I hope you're all having a very good beginning of the summer uh, because it is officially summer. And this week's question has to do with talking dirty without cracking up completely in the middle of the bedroom and feeling like you're really being stupid. And I know I've covered this before, but another question came in about how to talk dirty like the pros. So first, when you talk about the pros, I think you're talking about porn. And we get past it pretty quickly because we have to say all the naughty words a lot. Um, or as we call it, using the vernacular. And I know some people feel pressured to talk dirty because they don't like the feel of it or the sound of it. It seems too harsh or it seems too um, crude or not romantic enough. And don't forget, porn is an entertainment medium and it's not necessarily about being personal, intimate, or romantic. And so it's better to keep porn out of your mind when you're thinking about talking dirty um, and, uh, and not putting yourself up in uh, uh, judgment of yourself next to professionals. Hey, we're pros. Don't try this at home. The secret to dirty talk is saying what's true in the moment and using the vernacular instead of Latin. Um, so uh, instead of, oh please, will you place your mouth on my penis, you can say, ooh, would you suck my cock or suck me. The most important thing is that the words be true and somehow connected to how you're feeling at that moment. Um, if you are trying to whisper, ooh, ooh, lick me, I think your partner's going to know what me really means. If you can't say my pussy, I understand because, you know, these words are, you know, they can be hard to say and you feel stupid. Maybe you were told not to use these words when you were growing up or maybe your last partner um, didn't like you to use the words or use them in a way that left you with a bad taste in your mouth or a bad ringing in your ears. And it's okay to not be comfortable with talking dirty. Um, and it's also okay to put your own stamp on it, to, to talk dirty in your way and not another person's way. There was a performer years ago, Gina Fine, and she was famous for just this constant stream of really vulgar, filthy words. I mean, just, I can't even remember how she did it. If you talked, saw any of her movies um, in the last five years of her career, she really honed it at that time into uh, an art form. And it never did much for me, but she had a whole bunch of fans who loved that she talked so dirty, that that was the thing they loved about her besides how pretty she was or anything else that she did. Um, so there are certainly are fans of dirty talk, but if uh, you're still shy about it, start, start small. Um, there's a really great book by Carol Queen called Exhibitionism for the Shy, and she has a whole chapter on using dirty words, and then she has a whole other appendix on all the different names people have called different body parts and it's much more than clit or pussy or cock or ass it a little man the boat hidden pearl I mean this there are so many words for all the naughty parts that if you get her book um, exhibitionism for the shy one of those words will probably make you smile and that's what you want you want to find words for your different body parts that make fun that make feel good for you are fun for you or are meaningful between you and your partner because one of the fun things about dirty talk is when it's um personal between the two of you the words mean something just to the two of you they're really they, they mean something they're attached to an event that you shared or a moment that you had together and so you don't have to use the traditional so-called dirty words you can make up your own um, I've heard hoo-ha cookie um, quim is a lovely old-fashioned word for girl parts um, Back in the uh, Victorian days, cunny, C-U-N-N-Y, was, a, again, a sweet diminutive uh, for girl parts. I like naughty bits. I like girl parts, boy parts, um, because we all know what we're talking about without having to actually, you know, say the words. Also, what's difficult about so-called dirty talk is that it requires us to be direct about what we want, and that is so hard for us. It means we have to speak clearly directly, straight to the point. I want you to blank my blank. Please blank my blank. Can I blank your blank? And that is hard for people to really step up and speak 
speak what's true for them and speak what they need. Uh, and becoming comfortable with so-called dirty talk is definitely a way to get more comfortable with our own desires. And also, good practice for getting our desires met by our partners. Because any person worth being in bed with is going to want to please you and going to want to know how to please you. And the way they know how to please you is if you can speak what's true for you. Very important, speak what's true for you. And and it will be much, much easier. So, um, Carol Preen's book. Also, reading dirty stories out loud. There are an amazing number of books out there full of dirty stories, no pictures, for all orientations, written from all orientations, about all orientations, singles, doubles, triples, groups, boys to girls, girls to girls, boys to boys. <sighs> everything in between and reading dirty stories out loud to each other then it's not you talking about it you're just reading a story no problem and getting okay saying the words also you can stand in front of the mirror in the bathroom and say the dirty word in question um, over and over and over again until you stop feeling so silly and you realize the earth didn't open up and the lightning didn't strike you dead so I guess it's okay so giving yourself permission to have these desires, giving yourself permission to put voice to these desires, and giving your partner help in pleasing you are all good reasons to learn to be comfortable with so-called dirty talk. Remember, it is just speaking the truth in the moment, using the vernacular instead of the Latin. This is Nina Hartley, and you can send me your questions, please, to TuesdaysWithNina at gmail.com, and I'll be sure to answer them on the air. Until next week, have a wonderful, fun, and naked time. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.